hello guys in today's video we are going to learn how to convert a packet file to csv file then store the data in s3 bucket after that we're going to use a modern data replacement for airflow mage ai to extract the csv file where you can now perform transformation and load the transform data to your desired data warehouse for analytics so basically what I'm going to perform is the E without the TL in this project. So the prerequisite for this project is you need to have a Jupyter Notebook installed on your machine. You need to have a basic knowledge of Python and you need to have an AWS account. We are going to download the data set into our machine. This um, taxi. You're going to load data from this um, taxi yellow trip record. You're going to then upload it into our S3 bucket. And so basically what you're going to do, you're going to load data from this website. This, uh, and, and you're going to load this data into our mage, which is our orchestration tools that you're going to use for this project. And in order to, order to use mage, which is the modern replacement for Airflow, we need to set up our Amazon EC2 instance, which is our which is our compute engine for this project. And in this project, we are, go we are going to be using the Ubuntu machine. Before we get started, kindly like the video so that YouTube will recommend it to to others, to others who might be interested in this project, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so then kindly comment on the video if you want me to perform the end-to-end -end data pipeline on this project using aws redshift for data warehouse and power bi for analytics to complete the project here so without further ado let's get started so first of all we are going to um we are going to open our jupyter notebook because we need to convert our packet file to a CSV file for simplicity. So let's um, let's go in, let's go to our Jupyter notebook. So let's um. So let's create our so let's create our new notebook we are going to download um, this um, packet file so let me let me collapse it i will keep the link in the description below so you can find the link for this project in my github repository so we are going to sell we are going to click on to, um, 2023 and you click the yellow taxi trip record so let's download it So the file is downloading. So it's in my download file. Let's go to our let's go let's go to our folder, my download folder. So this is the file. So let, let me copy the um the directory. So I will click on get information and then um, And I'll copy the directory. I'll copy the directory for this file here. Copy it and I'll go to our we'll go to our Jupyter notebook and paste it. So I'm going to this is not the complete part, so I'm going to I'm going to copy the complete part from our download folder, which is um, which is this. Copy it and paste it. You can see you can see the step by step process in in my in my GitHub repository. So this is the step-by-step -step process, convert packet file to CSV. 
So we, we first of all we need to import pandas because you're going to be using using pandas for this pro project. So let me let, I will call it I will call the file. So after let me rename the new notebook we just created, which is convert. Convert um convert packet packet to CSV and I'm going to call the variable packet doc So um, let, let's go to where we downloaded the, the packet file. So go to find and let me copy the, the file path. So click on get information if you're using Mac and come to where and copy this. But this is not the complete path. So copy as path name and paste it in this in this double quotes and let me co copy the complete part so let me go to my downloaded file and i will copy the name i'll copy the name of the file so i'll come here and um, i'll i'll come to my jupyter notebook and co copy the complete part so in this video I I've pushed, I have pushed the step-by-step -step process to set, to convert your packet file to a CSV file for simplicity. So, um, this is the, this is the, um, uh, file, the Python file. So we will convert, we will convert a um, packet to CSV. So first of all, we need to import pandas. So let me create a new column. Let me insert a new cell above this and we need to import pandas um let me run it so after importing so after import so after importing pandas um let me run let me run a variable So we need to let's read our packet file. So we are going to read our packet file, which is this which is this variable here. So let's read up. Let's run the let's run the code. And to read our packet file, you type df.head. It will give you the five the, the first five rule of our data set so let's run it so you can see the data set that you are going to insert that you are, you can see the data set you're going to upload into our aws s3 bucket so it has the vendor id the t prepare pickup date time drop off passenger count trip distance road code um, store and forward flag, location ID, payment type, fair amount, extra, tax, tip amount, toll amount, improvement subcharge, total amount, and congestion subcharge and airport fee. So now that we have read our packet file, let's convert our packet file to CSV file. We need to create a file path where we are going to be storing our, our transform CSV file. So let me create a path which is let me call it CSV CSV underscore output and double quotes. Let's um let me copy this path. Let me copy it and save it in the same download file. But instead of instead of uh 
instead of um, leaving it at CSV, instead of leaving it as packet, I'm going to use uh, change it to um, CSV. So, so now um, that we've created a path, we need to now convert. We need to convert um, convert the packet file into a CSV file. So let's run this first, and so let's copy. Let's copy this and paste it here. So, so what this um, what this command actually do is to convert the the um, convert the. So what this command actually do is to convert the packet file we read here, which is the DF here. It converts it. It converts it to CSV file, and this CSV file is now embedded into this into this um, csv output variable we created here and the index is is um by default true but we would we change it change it to false because we don't want to we don't want to index our file so basically this is how you convert you convert um, a packet file into csv file in panda so let's run our code So let's get the info. So let's run df.info to get the inf information of in our to get the information in our data set. So let's run it. Because it, it takes more time to convert the, the packet file into a CSV file. The packet file is a compressed is a compressed file while the csv file is not a compressed file so um i will show you the difference after um after um, the after pandas convert the packet file into a csv file so this is our data info we can see the columns and the data types and you can see that the vendor is an integer this one the date this one is a date time all these ones are float integer float and the memory usage is um 444.6 so let's let's um, go to the part where we have converted our our packet file to csv file to see the difference so let's let me go to my download file so you can see the packet file here is um 48.7 mega bytes why the csv file is um is um 322 megabytes if you're working on a complex file you it is advised to convert your your data set to packets because it will compress the data and use less memory because we're working on a small data set i we need i i converted it to csv for simplicity. So now let's um, go to our AWS account. After logging into your AWS account, you can go to the search engine and type S3 and, and click on S3. So we are going to create um, a bucket. So let's create our bucket. So let's let me call this bucket name Mage Taxi Project Twenty Twenty Three. I hope this name has not been taken because. So bucket name must be globally unique. So for the purpose of this lecture, you're going to make you're going to make our bucket public so, so that we can extract data from the S3 bucket using an API. So you uncheck, you uncheck block all public access and 
you click create bucket. Check on the check on this boss and then um, click create bucket. So we have successfully created our bucket, which is the mage mage taxi project 2023 so let's click on our bucket so click on upload click on add file then let's select our After selecting the um, converted CSV file, click on Upload. So it will take a moment. While the data is loading, let's um, set up our EC2 instance where we are going to install our mage. For this project so let me let's search for ec2 So let's click on launch instance. Click on launch instance. So let's um let's give our instance a name. Let me call our instance. Let me call our instance mage project. My instance type will be Ubuntu. So let's select Ubuntu. And so since we are going to be processing a much bigger file, uh, I'm going to be using more more instance type bigger than the free tier eligible so let me go let's go for a bigger instance so i'll be using i'll be using um t2 extra large which is um four cpu and then um, four gig memory for this project so for this project uh, i'll be creating a new key pair which we are going to use to connect to our instance so I'm going to be using the theme. Let me give our key pair name. New, new mage Pro project. New mage project connect. So create, click um, create key pair. So it has download um, to our download file so let's um let's continue for so allow allow https allow http and it's going to be from anywhere so and click um and click launch So let's check our S3 bucket if it has finished um, downloading. Let me, let me open it here. 
we open our S3 bucket here. So let's check our main taxi file if it has finished downloading. So our instance are finished downloading. So let's check our instance. So it has started, our instance have started running, which is called the mage project. So let's glance through our instance. So let's let's um, connect to our EC2 instance and um, download the packages we need in order to extract data from S3 bucket using our airflow replacement to is called mage.ai so select here and click on connect so we are going to be using ssh open your terminal i'm going to create a new terminal because my this terminal the jupyter notebook is running on this terminal so let me create a new window so the new window is uh so you will see the you will you will change directory to the you will change directory to the folder where your pin your pin the key pair we downloaded is um stored so for my it is stored on my download it is stored on my download folder so i'm going to navigate to my download folder so so i'm going to run the following command so copy and then paste it and run it and let's ssh into our ec2 instance with this command here so copy it and paste it um, set, um type yes so now ubuntu compute server is running now so let me do ls and see if there's any file you can see that it is empty so now let's start downloading all the packages we need for this project so go to go to go to my GitHub repository and you will see command.tst. Let us update our 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 comp let us update our compute server. Copy it and run it. So it will update our Ubuntu server. So let's um let's install python you copy these two command and then paste it so now let's um let's install widget it will enable us to download file from the internet so let's um let's copy um both of them So now let's um, let's install pips. This is um, a Python package manager that we can use to install other Python packages. So now let's install let's install pandas
before we install mage let's install our aws libraries so let's install aws library which is um sudo pips install aws um if you come here you can see the extra libraries you need to install if you want to install extra packages for instance you're installing azure you can come over here and install azure related packages you can install bigquery um, dbt google cloud storage mysql postgres redshift and s3 snowflake and all so let's go back to our terminal and let's install let's copy and then let's install um aws library so you copy and paste um sudo pimp street install aws so this will install um aws library so it has finished installing let's install um aws bucket since you're going to be using you're going to be using an an api so so let's install s3 so now let's um after installing after installing s3 now let's install let's install boto3 boto3 is a python library that will enable us to programmatically assess and manage various aws services so let's install boto3 so copy sudo pips install boto3 So now, after installing all the AWS packages we need for this project, let's um, now let's now set up our mage on our AWS. So now we we'll type sudo pip three install mage hyphen AI. So let's let's first of all let's go to before we install mage ai let's go to our our mage let's um search for mage 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 ai data tools so it will pop up mage.ai click on click on it so it will bring you into their page so you can see it said is the modern replacement for airflow and is an open source pipeline for transforming and integrating data the good thing about mage is that it gives you the opportunity to write less code you don't need to start writing DAG when you're setting up your airflow you don't need to go through the through the stress of writing series of DAG. mage will do the job for you so click on get started so it will bring us to the repository so there are two main there are two main methods of um, setting up um setting up your mage one is um using um installing mage through docker and the second one is using pips which we already installed so for us to install to install mage using pip we we'll use pip install um uh, pip install mage hyphen ai so let's go to our terminal and then um, you you can copy it from my github um, repository you can copy it from my github repository so you can copy the sudo pims install mage hyphen ai so let's uh let's run let's run it So we are finished installing our mage uh, wait, let's try to set up our start our mage for you to um 
for you to start your mage, you need to create a new project and launch the tools, which is mage dot. Um, you can give it any name. You can change this demo project to any name. So let's let's run it. But we'll notice that it will not run successfully because uh, we need to create an inbound rule for us to access our mage. So let me let me call this project taxi mage project we we'll see that it's running so let's go to our ec2 instance let's go to our instance click on on the image the instance we created so we are going to use our public um we're going to use our public we are going to copy our public address and then um, paste it so for me to access uh, our image uh, we, are, we need to open the port we need to open this port here we need to open port 6789 for we to access our image so i've copied my i've copied our um our public address so put column if you if you type six four six seven if you type six seven eight nine it's no go, it's not gonna run because um we haven't created an inbound rule to to grant our public access the required access so let's go to our instance so click on instance so here we'll go to our sec we'll look fast we'll go to our security group So we'll go to our security group and you click on security, click on click on your security group, which is launch wizard 4. Click on it. Click on it and you will go to your edit inbound rules. And we can see that we have created the port for SSH, HTTP and HTTPS. So we need to create an inbound rule for port 3678. So click on add rules, select um, custom TCP and then um, and you select port C78 and we'll put it um the range we'll put on um, the source of 0, 0.00 slash 0. So you click you click save. So now that we've created our, our inbound rule for um, port 678, which is the port for for our mage.ai. So now let's run it and you see that our you see that our mage is um, ready to use. So close this and click on new. Click on standard batch. So, um, for 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 this project, um, for me to um, perform the ETL, first of all, you you perform the ETL by extracting the data, which is the data loader, and this one is the um, the T, which is the transformer and this um, data exporter is the loader which is going to load it to your desired um, which is going to load it to your desired um, data warehouse which can be AWS Redshift, BigQuery or, or Azure Snaps it depends on the one or even Snowflake it depends on the data warehouse that you want to use for your project so since you are going to be performing the E without the T and the L, let's click on data loader, click on this plus sign. You're going to be using Python. Click on this Python and select API. Since you are going to be using the API, select API. 
so let's give our project let's give our data block data loader block a name so let's um, call it mage taxi taxi data load so click save and add block so it will automatically create the function for us to load our file so for we to um so let's go back to our aws and make sure that our s our csv file has been fully loaded to our to our aws um, bucket so let's go to so it has uploaded successfully so let's close it and you will see that our csv file is ready to use so click on the csv file i've already worked on this project um so go to my github profile you will see um the code is um already there I've already written the code for this um, project so you're going to be using you're going to be using the function i wrote in my github profile so let's um delete the entire the entire function in this um let's delete the entire function that mage have created for us select all which is command command a if you're using a mac and click um your backspace to delete everything so let's go to our let's go to my github and you you copy all select all and copy from this load data to mage.py copy all and come back here and then paste it so basically um if you know if you know um the basics of if you know the basics of python we created a function that will load data from s3 bucket since we are using since we are using boto3 all we need is the bucket name and the and the key so it's going to we are going we created a function we created a variable that will um extract the data from x3 and convert it to an object and the bo and the body is going to read the object so we are going to be returning um the 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 written csv file and we are going to be using mem blue memory um into force and the semi the semi the the delimiter the delimiter in our csv file is comma so now um let me empty this so now for we to get our bucket name and our key name we need to go back to our s3 bucket so for we to get our our s3 for we to get our bucket name um we'll come here and click on our bucket this is our bucket name actually but so let's just click it so that we can it will be easy for us to copy so copy your bucket name this is your bucket name copy it and then go to your go to your mage um, function and paste your bucket name so for we to get the key we need to go back to our s3 bucket and click on the file click on the csv file we uploaded click on it and then um, this is the key click on copy copy the key and um, come here and paste it so now let's um, let you can see that it has created a DAG for us for the data loader so if you create a form if you create if you if you transform your data it's going to create the transformation and if you create the load the load the data the data export which is which is the um load is going to create another DAG for us so let's run our code
you can see that did not run successfully let's look at the error let's look at the error code here let's look at the error so it's saying no credential no credential error unable to locate credential so for we to um create a credential we need to go back to our aws we need to create a new user and create um, a credential so let's go to our let's um let's type iam select um select iam select um user on the right side on the left side here select user so so um click on already have users here but, but let's create a new user for this project so so that you understand how to create um um your secret key and access key so let's uh, click add users so we'll create a, a new user. So let me call this user special special mage access. So select click on click on provide user access to AWS management console. Click on it. Click on I want to create an IAM user click on custom custom password so let me create a password for myself so create a password create a unique password that have numbers that has numbers capital letter small letter and a special character so so on tick user must create a new password in next sign in so on tick it so that you will not be creating a um, new password on every new sign in so click on next click on attach policy directly so you are going to grant you are going to grant um this uh we are going to grant this user full um Full, let's grant it um, an administrator access. You can as well grant um, an S3 full access and um, grant it um, a redshift full access to. So select, click on next. Click on next. Click on this and click on create user. So let's re let's re we have fin we have created our user. So let's return to users. Click return to user list. So this is the um, new user we created. Click on it. So now let's go to. So now let's click on security. Click on security credential. And scroll down. You will see um, create access key. Click create access key. So you are going to select application running on AWS Compute Services, select it and click next. Click I understand the above recommendation. I want to proceed to create an access key. Select, click, select it and then click next. Um, this one is not compulsory, so it's optional. So click let's let's give it a description let's say for for mage access so click on create access key 
So it's going to create your access key and the um, secret access key. So you will copy this access key and secret access key. You can you can download it. So let me download it. Let me download it to save me my CSV file. I will I will deactivate it after this project. So even if you copy it, it will it will it will be irrelevant. So so let's um cop let's copy the access key and let's go back to our image. So come here. So you scroll down under this IO underscore config.yaml file, click on it. Then come here, this AWS access key. Select, select, the, select this and delete it and copy the access key. So the secret access key, let's go back to our AWS. This is my secret access key. Click on, click on copy. You can you can download the, the the CSV file. I've already downloaded it. So click on done. So let's let's paste the the um the secret key we copied. Sell, let me expand this so that you can see it more. So so um delete this um environment variable delete it and then paste paste your secret access key into this um, double quote so for region let's um let's um look for we can leave we can leave the region the way it is the region is not mandatory so you can see here it said add your credential for the source you use and delete the rest so now we have to delete the rest which is azure and every other cloud services so let's let's delete them copy copy them copy them and click delete so we have deleted we have deleted them so let's click on save file content so let's click on edit it will bring us back to our pipeline so let's click on edit so now that we have done it let's run our code again I'm able to locate credential So let's go back to our YAML file. I guess we need to create, um, we need to add the region. So let's go to our, so let's go to our, our EC3 instance and get the region EC2. So let's go to EC2. So select our, our EC2 instance we created, select it, and we'll find out the, that we created it in the US East 2. So let's go back to our mage and put US East i mean we created our we have created our our ec2 instance in us east one so let's go back to our mage file and uh, click double quote double quote and type us hyphen east one and save save, save click on save file content and go back to edit and let's run this let's run this block of code again let's see what happens 
so this is um some of the bug you face when you're creating um when you're creating um projects so let's um let's try let's try to let's create a new window and let's um, go to our EC2 instance and click on connect and let's um, set up Let's let's um click on it. Let's see the to download. We are key key is run it and let's SSH into our compute server again. So it has it has started running. So I'm thinking we need to create um, an AWS credential. So let's go to, let me check um, my steps. So let me check the step-by-step. -step. So So let us um, let us let's set up our AWS um, command line. So let me copy the sudo app, install command line on our machine. So let's um, click on. It's not complete. So let me install. So click on it. Click click one. Type one. We're installing our command line on our on our compute machine, our AWS command line. So it has finished running. So now let's um let's let's type AWS config. AWS config we need to install aws command line so after installing aws command line you will run the version if you face any error like this like no search file at it you ask the aws ask the aws then which the aws and you will see then um you will now check for the AWS version. If the AWS version appears like this, that means that you've resolved the error. So you will now type on AWS config. So, and you will now copy your AWS key. You copy your AWS key, which is this. Uh, this is my own key. AWS key. And you copy the secret key. Secret key. Default region name US. US East one. That's my default region name. Then click. Click enter, enter. So now that we have, um, now that we have embedded our security credential on our on our AWS, let's check our our image file. Let's run our code again. So it's 
giving us some warning. So, but it has run our code successfully. So, it gave us some warning about the column that it has a mixed type, which can be fixed um, during, which can be fixed um, while performing transformation. So, this is how you load your data into your mage modern data tools. Um, word of advice, you might face an error. You might face an error while doing this project, but if you face an error, try to fix it. But if you cannot fix it, um, you can contact me, then I will, I will help you fix the error. Thank you for watching and keep learning. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed and like the video.